Welcome to the first demo of the new Relic CLI. My name is John Thurman, and I'll be walking you through a few of the initial features that the new CLI has to offer. To get started, let's install the CLI. For Mac users out there, you can quickly install via Homebrew. Don't worry, we also support Linux and Windows with binaries available on the project's GitHub page and OS-specific packages coming soon. In order to manage access to New Relic, you'll need to create a personal API key through the web UI and add it as a profile to the CLI. For those who currently use the New Relic 1 CLI for nerd packs, you, you're all set as we utilize the same profile configuration. Since we're working on a demo account, let's add a new profile and set it as our default. The first feature I want to talk about is how you can easily search for entities across all of your accounts. Wow, that returned a lot more, so let's narrow them down. In this case, I want to search for a specific tag, name, and applications in our APM product. Cool, that got us one entity I was looking for, but it was also a lot to type. So instead, we can use a new Relic CLI's awareness of applications to be able to search directly using these aliases. Okay, we got the same item back. I wonder what tags it has. Tags are a great way to add metadata to your existing entities, so you can search for them, apply different alerts, etc. This entity seems to be missing our environment tag, so we're going to create that real quick. The CLI supports full CRUD operations on tags for all entities, so you can create, update, remove, replace them. It also supports, as a second feature, deployment markers. Deployment markers are great in a CI CD world, so you can see what changed between different uh, releases of your product. In this case, the application has no deployment marker, so let's create one real quick. We can add metadata such as who the user is that deployed it, the revision of the software, and a brief description. We also support change logs, which I'm not showing here. Great, so now we have that all set. I want to look at the tags that are on it, and I want to look at the deployment markers and that's a, quite a specific use case, which the CLI does not support. Fortunately, the CLI does support you running arbitrary nerd graph queries. And in this case, I'm going to ask for the deployments back. And let's do the tags. And of course, since we are CICD friendly, all of this is uh, all of this supports variable replacement. So I'm just going to add the GUI here. So I can write the query once and then pass in variables on the command line as I need. And here we see that we have the environment test uh, tag added as well as the deployment marker. For those that use Docker for their CI CD systems, we also have an image available. Let's install that. And we can directly run commands against the Docker image um, passing in our API key is the only thing required. Name the image, and then this time, let's remove the tags that we just added since this is a demo and we need to clean up after ourselves. And let's nuke the environment tag. We also support deeper scripting. So if you really want to get out your bash foo here, in this case, I'm going to list all the deployments, run it through a couple utilities, and then pass it back in the ID of the deployment we just created back into the new relic command to delete the deployment marker. And finally, I'm going to remove the profile that I created for the demo. And that's all we have for today. If you have any questions or comments or interesting use cases you'd like to share, please head over to discuss.newrelic.com and look for the Developer Toolkit in the Build on New Relic section. Thanks for watching.